What's up, people? It's Belief, and in this video today, I'm gonna be giving you guys six loadouts that I think are underrated that might start becoming a little bit more popular in Warzone. If you guys watched this video and you guys found value or you guys were entertained, do me a favor and smash that like button. It helps me out a whole bunch. But before we start, I just want to say the Farah and C58, oh, and also the Krig are still very amazing loadouts to be using in Warzone. I'm pretty sure everyone's talking about how great those three loadouts are. That's why I'm not talking about them, but what you guys are seeing on the screen right now is the Modern Warfare AUG, and they buff this bad boy. All right, let's go ahead and look at the bust real quick. For some reason in the patch notes, they call this thing Submachine Gun Delta Modern Warfare. I'm assuming just like copyrighted title or whatever, they, they just don't want to call it AUG, but they increase the minimum damage from 25 to 26. So minimum means the your furthest damage drop off, that last drop off. So they end up increasing that by 26 and I'm telling you guys, it made a difference for it. You guys can see in the background, I'm shredding with the Mono Warfare AUG. What I'm running on it is the Mono Tac Laser Mork 4 Grip 32 round mags and the slat of hand. So I'm running the 32 round mags instead of the 30 round mags here, the NATO rounds. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because the 30 rounds is better for longer distance, but up close, the 32 rounds, the regular nine, um, the regular nine millimeter rounds actually have a better TTK and you're using this as a submachine gun. So you might as well just keep the 32 rounds rather than running the 30 rounds. Plus you end up getting the extra two rounds and I mean, it doesn't help much, but it's extra two rounds. It might help, but you guys got to give this AUG a try. I'm telling you guys, this thing is nasty and I always loved it in Modern Warfare pre Cold War integration, but the MP5 was just too good just because of the 30 or the MP5 have 45 rounds. If they add 45 rounds on this AUG, it would be amazing, but that's not going to happen, but give the AUG a try. Okay. All right. Off to number two, which has to be the Growl 556. So I couldn't not put this one in there. Okay. This is one of my favorite guns in Modern Warfare or Warzone and the growl meta was a lot of fun. I know it was kind of a pain because literally everyone was running it and it had literally no recoil, but they ended up nerfing it and now they buffed it again. So here we see for the growl 556, they end up increasing the minimum damage from 22 to 24. So like I said before, the minimum damage is the damage furthest from you, right? The last damage drop off. That's the minimum damage range. So they end up increasing it from 22 to 24. And that made a big difference because the growl is really nice up close. Um, like medium range to like semi long range. But now with the extra two points in that damage, it makes a pretty big difference, especially because, you know, you're not going to be missing your shots with a growl 556 because the recoil now it's, it's not even, it is a little bit more than the pre nerf growl, but it's really easy to use. What I'm running on the growl is the mono, the archangel, tack laser, commander for grip and the 60 rounds. You can change the tack laser for VLK scope if you like, but I like the iron sights on this a lot better. I tried running the VLK, but like I said, I love the iron sights on this bad boy right here. And then you can also switch the archangel to a nexus. Uh, the second to last barrel. It's, it's kind of like the M4 where you run the Corvus instead of the M16 barrel, just because it gives you a little bit more ADS speed, but you lose a little bit of recoil. But like I said, the recoil is not that bad on this. Um, but I would recommend to run the Archangel. Uh, give the Growl a try. It's freaking back, boys, and I'm happy. I love the Growl. I love the Growl. As you can tell, I got black. What is this? Is not black matter. What the hell? This is Obsidian. I got Obsidian for this bad boy. So loadout number three is going to be the Swiss. So the Swiss is in, boys. The Swiss is freaking in. The reason why the Swiss is so nice is just because they change the um, the little Chevron re like reticle. Now it's a nice, clean, crisp reticle and it's definitely like the car 98 the thing with the swiss right is if you get an armor break you only need one more shot to actually get the kill or get the down but with the car 98 sometimes you have to hit them pretty spot on on the upper chest to the headshot to get that down but the swiss it gives you a little bit more leeway for you guys if you guys don't snipe that often so i definitely recommend you guys giving the swiss a try what i'm running on the swiss is the sound moderator combat recon 5mw laser sight seven rounds and the speed tape um i still need to level my bad boy five more levels for the gru suppressor if you guys got that i'd highly recommend you run that instead because the bullet velocity on the swiss is i believe a little bit slower than the car 98 the car 98 is still an amazing sniper rifle i'll have to say that but 
Um, if you guys want to try something else, like I said, this is a little bit underrated. Um, try the Swiss, guys. It's nice, especially if you don't snipe that often, uh, but you want the flinch not to kill you. I do have a video of me using the Tundra, and I got a nice clutch with the Tundra um, and Uzi, but in that video, you could just see how bad the flinch is compared to running the Swiss or the Car 98. That's what that what that's what makes these sniper rifles so good. It's the freaking um, the flinch, the flinch resistance. But that is number three. And then for loadout number four, we're gonna be talking about the bullfrog. So I love the bullfrog. As soon as this thing came out, I was like, oh man, this thing is great because the bison was so ass in Modern Warfare. But as soon as there was that integration, I was using this bison. I was like, or not bison, bullfrog. I was like, ooh. This thing, this thing is nice. It's juicy, boys. It's juicy. It has a nice magazine size, great movement, and the iron sights are not that bad. If they are bad for you, you can switch the iron sights around a little bit, but this bad boy, I'm telling you guys, is really nice. Especially you hit those headshots, this thing rips up close. Let's go ahead and look at the loadout. What I'm running on it is the GRU suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, Serpent Wrap, and the Skeletal Stock. So you can run I would even recommend running uh, under barrel, but if you really want to, you can. This thing has like almost no recoil, which is why I'm just going for the serpent wrap for the faster ADS speed. And then you do not need a larger magazine. That's totally cap if you guys end up getting one of those. Because let's be freaking, let's be, let's be real, boys. If you're gonna be fighting four dudes, the standard mag has enough. All right, you're missing your freaking shots, and you sh and you need to fix your shots if you are adding more rounds to this bullfrog. Okay, but I'm telling you guys, give the bullfrog a try. It is very nice. And then for loadout number five, we have the Modern Warfare MP5. This bad boy is back. So they end up nerfing a whole bunch of the, the Cold War like submachine guns, but the Modern Warfare MP5 still has a really nice time to kill. And the best part about the Modern Warfare MP5 is that juicy, juicy hip fire. I'm telling you guys, you guys gotta run this bad boy and make sure it's a hip fire build. You guys can run an ADS build for this thing, but I love the hip fire for this build so much more. What I'm running on it is the Mono Integral Suppressor, 5MW, Merc 4 Grip, 45 rounds, and the Slide of Hand. So if you actually switch um, the, what is it called? The stock for the collapsible. In Modern Warfare, if you have a short like stock or whatever, it actually increases your hip fire. So you can just like put this bad boy on and get rid of the 5MW laser, or you could put on the 5MW laser and get rid of slide of hand, or you could put on slide of hand and get rid of the barrel. You see that? There's a lot of ways you can use this thing, but I, what I recommend for you guys to do, right, is to keep the Mono Integral Suppressor on. Go ahead and just either get rid of the stock or the 5MW laser. I'm gonna get rid of the stock here. And then what happens here is for the Modern Warfare Integral Suppressors, it actually hides your, uh, what is it called? Your tracers. So it's nice, it's very nice. No one's gonna know where you're getting shot from. Definitely give the Modern Warfare a try one more time. I don't even know if some of you guys have this thing leveled up, right? Because some of you guys might have came during the integration with Cold War, and you guys might not even have the MP5 leveled up, which blows my mind. But give this bad boy a try. The hit fire is freaking insane. That was what that was one of the things I missed the most out of the Cold War um, submachine guns was the fact that you can't hit fire as effectively as the Modern Warfare, but you definitely can with this MP5 and. It's, it's juicy, boys. Juicy. All right, let's go to the last loadout I have for you guys. And, okay, and the last loadout is going to be the QBZ. I would not expect me to even talk or... This thing, this thing was so trash pre-patch, okay? But now we're actually slapping people with it. Well, you can either run it as a sniper support or a main AR. I've been running it as a main AR and... It's pretty decent, you know, it's it's medium to kind of long range um, up close. It's kind of difficult with this sight on. So I wouldn't recommend running it with the sight, but in medium range is actually really nice to use. And what I'm running on this bad boy is the agency suppressor task force barrel three times optic field agent grip and the 60 round standard mags. But yeah, I don't know. The recoil for this thing is a little wobbly, but it's still nice. It feels 
like a different gun, honestly, because you actually get, you actually get a down people compared to before. You're just shooting little BBs, little paintballs. They should have they should have gave a paintball skin to this freaking gun, but now you're actually shooting some heavy. Okay, you're actually shooting some lead down uh, the aisle, down the down down the field, down 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 lane. But yeah, you guys get what I'm talking about. Give this QBZ a try. It's pretty nasty. You gotta get, you gotta kind of get used to that recoil. But um, like I say, medium, close range. It's it's nice. It's very nice. Long range. It's a little too shaky for me personally. Maybe I gotta get used to it a little bit more. But you guys let me know what you guys think about the QBZ buff. So that is six of my favorite underrated loadouts right now in Warzone that no one's really trying it. Everyone's still about the Fara. Everyone's about the Krieg. I already talked about the previously about how good the Krieg is going to be once the Fara gets nerfed in my previous loadout video. And everyone's still talking about the C-58. And the reason why is because those are definitely really good assault rifles to be using in warzone but these are also really good loadouts that you guys should definitely be trying to because right now is the best weapon balance we have in warzone and it's gonna be a lot of fun seeing what people end up start doing but if you guys found value in this video do me a favor smash that like button it's totally free i put a lot of time and effort into this video for you all and then go ahead and comment down below if you guys like these loadouts or give me another loadout that i should definitely start trying i know there's still the stoner that i haven't give a try as much but i'm thinking about giving that bad boy a try it's just a little slow for me which is why i don't really like it um and then go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more warzone content uh, like I said previously, I will be doing some battle Battlefield 2042 as well as soon as that game comes out because I'm super excited for Battlefield. I love Battlefield and I'm tired of these hackers in Warzone. And hackers are coming back, boys. Give it a week. I guarantee it. They're going to find some slip in this damn algorithm and figure out how to start hacking again. But I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Warzone. Peace.